matter if you're having like dinner alone on a Tuesday or throwing a dinner party for your friends, I think a salad moment is really important. This is the thing that you reach for when you're like, I've had so much chicken and you really want something to kind of like cleanse the palate a little bit. I like to kind of mix it up instead of just having a bowl of green stuff, I like to include a lot of really raw, crunchy vegetables. So this little salad -y number is going to start with radishes and apples and lemon, and not just the juice, but the whole thing. I also am a firm believer in like as few bowls as possible when I'm cooking. If you already have a bowl that you know you're gonna serve it in, why not just like make your salad in it? So that's what we're gonna do. If you are really confident in your knife skills, I think you should absolutely do this by hand, which I am, not to say that I'm not. I think that a mandolin will almost always do a better job than I will, so I'm gonna use it. And just like anything you're cooking, if you can get a superlatively cool looking vegetable, go for it. I mean, I could probably just like serve a bowl of these and I'd be pretty pumped because it's so beautiful. The good thing about using more than one variety of any vegetable is that you get sort of this variance in texture, right? So the watermelon radishes are gonna be a little bit more sturdy and kind of hold on to their heft and these purple ones are a little bit more delicate. When I'm making a salad, I am pretty opposed to like a dressing. So I like to make everything in the salad like be the dressing. So instead of making like a dressing with vinegar and honey and whatever, I'm using an apple, which kind of does it all. Especially when you're slicing an apple really thin, I don't mind eating the core. I think they look really nice in the rounds and uh, the core is actually edible. I love using the whole lemon because the peel has a lot of flavor. The rind actually is a little bitter, but I like that. I like the bitterness that it brings to the table. I think that it's like a really dynamic little fruit. So I'll just use the rest of it to kind of squeeze over everything and then just kind of like give these a really rough chop, like just run your knife through them once or twice. In this bowl, I've got radishes, whole lemon, and apple. I'm just gonna season it with salt and pepper, toss it, and let it hang out for like a few minutes, just to kind of soften everything, marinate everything. The juices will come out of the apple, out of the lemon, and because you're tossing it with so much of that lemon, the apples should stay like really nice and white. With just about everything, I much prefer to use my hands than any sort of tool or appliance. And you're showing a lot of attention, right? You wanna show like each radish like that you care about it. You wanna like be like, I'm here, buddy. We're gonna get you dressed too. So while this is sort of hanging out in here and everybody's getting to know each other and they're creating like almost like their own vinaigrette, I'm just gonna thinly slice some scallions. Again, like a superlative vegetable. This is like a really beautiful spring onion. When I'm making a salad, I kind of let the vegetables speak to me and this salad is telling me that it wants to be round in nature. Everything is like really circular and so that's why I'm cutting these little guys into rounds. You could also use like a thinly sliced shallot, half of a garlic clove or a red onion or something like that. But I like these because yeah, they sort of give you more of that purple color. That's really the only reason. These guys are really well marinated. They kind of have this cool tie-dye thing that happened because the purple radish like bled into the apple and they're having a great time in here. There's no right or wrong lettuce to put in here. I do like the watercress because it is a little spicy, just kind of like that radish. And it looks really nice. Again, make sure that each vegetable feels like you're really paying attention to it. Like any good uh, salad mom, I'm gonna dress it with some olive oil. I like to add a little bit of olive oil, not just because it kind of creates like a sauciness, but you need a little bit of fat. And then I'll go ahead and top it with those other round guys. So this is kind of like in between a slaw and a salad, I suppose, right? It's not entirely a big bowl of leafy greens. It's sturdy enough, you can serve it on its own. It has like some heft to it. So now it's ready to go, and I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit more olive oil and some pepper. This is the kind of salad that you wanna make like right before you serve it. It's kind of delicate. Um, the vegetables can hang out for a minute before you do everything, but once you add the watercress or the ingredients, it's kind of like a go time thing. You know, you wanna to toss and go. So this one is ready to go.